All right, my Scorpios, this is gonna be a timeless read. Um, anytime you hear it, that is when you are meant to hear it. Doesn't matter if it's a day from now, a month from now, a year from now, 15 years from now. When you have been, when this video has been led to you is when you are meant to hear it. I have already went ahead and pulled some of your cards and to make this go a little quicker. If by any chance this reading resonates with you, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. All right, and let's get into this. I went ahead and pulled this, and your book page was a 69. Don't make me wait. I breathe honesty, and although I love the feeling of anticipating things, I am too impatient to wait for the truth to be said. The truth can be seen, but it is not believed until it is openly said. I am impatient to wait for the truth because I am scared of losing it before I hear it. How can you be scared of losing something that you don't have? When you can see the truth with your heart, you feel that you already have it. Some moments are made for certain words to be said. We anticipate those moments and build hope on them. Once we lose those moments, the meaning attached to the word is lost. The meaning attached to what we thought our hearts saw is lost. This is how we lose what we don't have. We believe the truth before hearing it and we declare ownership over it before we are guaranteed it. Once the moment of truth passes, the readiness within us to hear the truth is lost. The readiness in our hearts and minds to speak back is lost. Now we have an ending in the middle of a story. Before you let a perfect moment moment pass you by think whether it is worth your regret afterwards for not using it wisely so be careful Scorpios if you ask for the truth the truth will find you. Be prepared for whatever the truth is going to say when it comes. Right. I went ahead and pulled your cards here. Get into the meaning. All right, for your past, you pulled the King of Swords which means you may have been criticized or put down unfairly um, in your head. At the moment, at the moment that this was going on, you felt complete and utter stress from all of it. Um, either you or the person that you're dealing with is acting very self-centered and power hungry. Um, and there is a possibility that you or your person could be trying to control the situation or your partner. And it's not necessarily out of a bad reasoning. You could be trying to control because you're afraid of losing the person that you're with. But that's still not, that's still not necessarily okay. Um, you got to, in cases like this, you know, you're going to be called to step back so that you lose this fear. The law of attraction, when you try to control something out of fear, the law of attraction is instantly going to draw that fear to you. Because as I've always said, the law of attraction wants you to realize how much of a badass you are so all the stuff you're afraid of it's gonna drop it right in front of you so that you have to battle it and you have to conquer it it's like the world knows what you're afraid of and when you keep being afraid of it it's gonna make you fight it because once you fight it you'll level up you'll grow so 
don't control people out of fear. I, I am, um, I, I can understand the whole trying to control the situation because you're afraid, but don't try to control the person. Whenever you try to control someone else, it usually never works. It always, it always ends up backfiring. That's what I've always said. When you try to control someone, you take away their free will. When you take away someone's free will, you strip them of who they are as a person. When you strip someone who they are as a person, they no longer are anything but a hollow shell walking around. You don't want that. And if you end up with that in the long run, you will end up being so bored with that person. So you will have stripped them of everything of who they are, the type of person that they are meant to be, and the person that they will be. But so there's going to be two sides of every story. If you are controlling out of fear, if anyone in life is trying to control a situation out of fear, that means that there are things inside of you that God is telling you, you have not healed yet. Because anytime something bad comes up, there is usually two parts, two people that play into this. One person isn't necessarily always doing more bad than others now like cheating and stuff like that that that's different but in the controlling situation when you are controlling out of fear it's because usually you have been either hurt in the past or someone has done that to you or you have done that to the other person either way you have to look back at your past you have to forgive yourself, forgive the other person, forgive the situation, find what you learned from that situation, and use it going forward. And that's how you will release this fear. If you forgive someone and that person was the one who did this before, and that is the reason why you're fearing, you have to ask yourself, if they keep doing the same things to me over and over, are you allowing it? And I'm not saying you're like, oh, okay, do it to me. But if someone hurts you and then comes back and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I believe in second chances. I believe everyone makes, makes mistakes. But I don't believe in third and fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh chances. When someone constantly disrespects you, it's not, it's not a mistake anymore. It is a choice. And usually it is a choice because they know that you will forgive them. They know that if they say the right things to you, that you will soften up and that you will forgive them and you will allow them back in. You have to be. You teach people how to treat you. And that doesn't mean you being like, okay, well, I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to do that. You know, it comes down to the situations of how you are going to respond when they do do that. And that is how someone is going to learn how they are allowed to treat you by the actions that you take and that you accept and that you allow Especially if it's more than once. Um, what you're allowing in your life is what will continue. So don't allow the disrespect. You put a stop to it. If you take a step back and they come back at you, you don't allow that to continue. That's why forgiving someone is awesome. But the Bible never says nothing about for forgetting here as a person. Because when we forgive someone, we have to learn something from it. Every time someone hurts us, it's so that we learn. We are meant to learn from each situation. We are not meant to repeat the same cycles over and over and over and over and over again. 
Otherwise, you will be repeating all of your past situations. And if they are your past situations, obviously they do not work. Now, I know there's a difference when you put someone else in there. But you have to figure out if that person is really and truly different than the other ones of the past. Okay. We have just talked a whole lot about the past. We have not even touched the current and whatever. Okay. The past is done. The past is done. The past is over. We got to forgive it and drop it. We have already spent way too much time talking about the past. Do not dwell in the past. Do not compare your current relationships to your past relationships. Take what is right in front of you. Well, this is a bad example because that is heartbreak right there. Take what is right in front of you and take only that and go with forward. Because at any moment you can change your whole life, your whole story. You can start over. You can create something new. But currently in your current energy, you have got the three of swords. Um, this is kind of, in this deck, it's kind of like you're realizing what is, you're just now finally realizing what the severity of the situation is that you're going through and why you are so, so heartbroken. Um, you may just now be seeing the truth in all of the situations, in all of the um, things that are coming up before you. You may just now be attempting, may, sorry, you may just now be realizing everything because sometimes when our heart gets broken broken oh, sometimes when our heart gets broken we try to block it off and try to pretend like it doesn't really happen and we guard our hearts from the pain that it that we were meant to feel so that we knew to move on okay and it also has like other meanings it's like if you have a lot of problems and a lot of stress just go straight after it strike the heart of the problem so to speak okay now for your future you got the knight of coins and the three of spears knight of coins it means you have a lot and a lot of potential you are hard working um you're dedicated you're loyal um see how this this card they're going this way it's kind of like reading a book from the left to the right when the people are facing this way that's that's the path that's the way they're supposed to go they're going to the future they're coming in when you see a horse or a person going to the left it means they are leaving or it's going in reverse kind of like this see how the horse would be going in this direction, but you've got it this way. So this is telling you to focus and figure out what it is that will bring you money in the future. What, so that money will come in to you. Okay. And your three of spears, um, with the person that you're with, you can either be like fighting having communication issues, someone may be blocked. Um, someone can also feel unsupported or, because you see this, in this deck, it looks like the ships are leaving when you see it here. So they look like they're all alone, like they're unhappy, like the ships have left them and they... They have no one there to support them. Okay. Now here's your most important part. This is your advice. Okay. So you got the two of swords. Which your advice is obviously not very good either. I'm sorry. But we'll try to make the best of this. We will define all this stuff to see 
there's anything you can do to make it better to see what's really and truly going on okay um two of swords you're dealing with the problem you don't really know how to fix it you see because she can't see she's blind at this part in the show um so she is kind of guarding herself but she doesn't at the time she doesn't really know what she's guarding herself from because she cannot see it which means maybe you have not you cannot see what is completely going on around you right now um but it's telling you you're gonna have to make a decision to do anything you will have to lay these swords down so even if it's confusing coming soon you will have to make a choice that's what advice is telling you okay two of coin okay so in a lot of decks this means juggling it does not mean that in this deck when it is in reverse it means that someone is spending way too much money that they're making money but someone is not budgeting correctly or they're spending too much money on stuff they don't really need or they're being foolish by like gambling or um doing reckless things paying for stuff they should not be buying and using um so someone could be using the money for wrong and if you do not watch out you are going to end up in a world of hurt monetarily. So budget because you may have unexpected expenses come up and you may need that money. So don't waste it. Don't blow it. Save some of it. Even if you only save like 10 or 20%, save something. Do not blow every cent of it because you may need it coming up. All right, eight of coin here. Um, this kind of means like the end of a cycle. Um, and you could, you see how there's like all these here? You could be working hard and you could be getting reward or a compensation for the work that you're doing. And your last one is the Hermit, which is the Virgo card. If you know a Virgo, when they start to overthink, they want to be alone. So, this is like introspect. Intro. Inner, I, I can't even think. When you go and you look inside yourself, you know what I mean? Okay. This also means time apart from a relationship in this deck or you may need to be alone and go into solitude after a breakup Pisces if I mean sorry not Pisces Scorpio some of you may be dealing with a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart but Scorpio um This could also mean you are looking inside yourself to heal yourself after a breakup. So there's a possibility, and this will not be for all, will only be for some. Some of you are about to go through a hard and severe breakup. So what this is telling you right here, do not blow money. If you are working, Put some of it to the side because if this breakup occurs, you're going to have an unexpected expense. It could be like lawyer or, you know, kind of stuff like that. And you may need it. So be cautious and be wise right now. All right. And when I pulled your cards here, we'll go ahead and pull these first. And then we will go through and we'll define all these. All right. 
Courage is knowing it might hurt and doing it anyways. Stupidity is the same. That's why life is hard. <laughs> what is the difference between courage and stupidity in your life? A big part of adulting is not crossing the line where your rebelliousness turns into recklessness. The people who ride this line most graciously usually have a clear eye and the value and a good friend or two who will tell them when they are being a dumbass. If you can't decide if you're being brave or stupid, call a friend. Hint, don't call a dumbass friend though. <laughs> You don't have to rebuild a relationship with everything, everyone you have forgiven. Yeah. If they're your ex, let them go. You are hereby granted permission to forgive everyone, but still have a super picky to... You are hereby granted permission to forgive everyone, but still be super picky about every person you let into your inner circle. Go forth and prosper. All right. I do not read for the past after the first one. That's just to get the energy. So we will go for current and future and advice. Alright, currently, and I don't read these upside down, grief, you are sad, you are losing something that means something to you, and green means money, so it, within losing something that means something to you, you could also be losing money if you're not careful. What's coming for you in the future is guilt. And then joy. Now look, this woman went from this to this, in my opinion. See, there's that blue in the back. So, once you let everything out, once you let the truth out, there is no guilt that needs to be had. Because once you're forgiven, the other person is supposed to forgive what you have asked forgiveness for. And let it go. And you have to forgive the other people. The same. Alright. And advice. It's telling you to be careful. Not being tricked. Someone is trying to be sneaky. And they are using your insecurities to get what they want from you. So be careful and guard your heart because they will use that to trick you. They will use your passion to trick you. So you will also have happiness though in the future. See so look. Through this window, it's a beautiful sunny day. Okay. There's a little bit, bit of clouds, but that's my favorite kind of day. Alright. I'm going to pull some of these and see what these say, because you've got a lot of weird energies here. Prosperity. So, currently you could be working on earning money. Okay, for the future, power, alchemist, death to the masculine. Okay. To me, what this is saying is you need to be careful because someone is power hungry and they're trying to control things. Someone else is doing drugs and you may need to put 
a death to the masculine energy, the controlling, the, the like, trying to be in power. There may be a death to the masculine here, to the masculinity. You may have to come vulnerable for everything to work out. For advice. But guys, don't do drugs. Like seriously, don't do drugs. It it'll take all your money and it will strip away your life. It will strip away your happiness. It'll strip away your joy. Drugs are bad. I have lost so many people due to drugs. I am not necessarily sure what this card means, but this is the four. And so that's the twin flame. That would be the twin flame card. Let me pull another one to see what that means. Why is that card here, spirit? Okay, so you've got a cleanse. So, someone may be trying to get clean here. And it may be the feminine. Maybe the feminine needs to get clean. If the feminine is on drugs, the feminine needs to get clean and be rebirthed. And look, rebirth. Rebirth happens in the snow, it looks like. So, maybe in the min when winter months, things will change. Because someone is going to remember all the shit that they have had to sweep out of their life that they've swept under the rug. They swept all these secrets under the rugs. And there was someone in their life that was dedicated to them. But they may have thrown that all away. And that is the advice that is coming. If you are a feminine in this whether you are the feminine Scorpio or whether you are the feminine who is dealing with the Scorpio, if you are on drugs, get clean. This is a warning. Get clean or you will lose everything that God has to bless you with. Because if you take the blessings that God gives you for granted, he will take them from you. He will not let you someone who was meant to come into your life to be a blessing sit there and suffer because your free will he cannot strip you of your free will um you still have that choice but he, if you don't want it if you don't treat it right he will take it from you and he will turn your blessing into the biggest curse so get your shit right and come home and find who you are and step into your power. I don't know. Someone in this is angry. Someone in this is very angry. Because right now all I feel is rage. That's all the cards they have there. Let's pull some lighthearted mermaids. See if they say something a little bit nicer. Get clean, people. Get clean. Be appreciative for what of what you have. Be thankful. Thank God that they gave you another day. The magic of okay sacrifice there are those worth making there are those that will destroy you okay you see this what are you sacrificing 
Are you sacrificing your relationship for a drug problem? You're, that will destroy you. Are you sacrificing your marriage for a fling? That will destroy your relationship. Are you sacrificing a fling for your marriage? Well, you probably shouldn't be in a fling anyways. Make sure your sacrifices are worth it. What are you sacrificing? Are you sacrificing your kids for a relationship? Because I'm kind of feeling some people are doing that right now. It's kind of like the what I'm hearing. Is that some people are putting their relationship with some outsider above their kids. And if that is the case, you might want to be careful because you may lose your kids. Wonder, voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul, which could be the dark night of the soul. So coming to you, if you are a twin flame and you go into separation because someone did not want to sacrifice and they ran what's going to happen enter dark night of the soul you're gonna about to die that ego death be prepared it, it's pretty hard it is gut-wrenching it will strip everything out of you but at the end you will find out who you aren't You may not find out who you are completely, but you will definitely find out who you aren't. Everyone is meant to have a little bit of ego, but you do not need to have it in overloads. When you start imbalancing the ego, God will start humbling you. Transparency. Honest, authentic, genuine, and present. So, advice is be honest, be open, be truthful, and be there to listen. Be there. If, if you get on drugs real bad, it can strip everything from your life, and it can kill you. So, please... Please, please, if you are on drugs bad, get clean. Because I have seen so many go because of something so pointless that was so not worth it.